Hello friends, today I am going to tell you how to convert a wide data into a long data using Stata. Okay, so now first of all, what is a wide data? First of all, I will give you the example of a wide data. What is a wide data? You can see here, we have these companies. Okay, now here we have so many companies. So many companies are there. Okay, and uh, all these companies, for all these companies, we have the data from year 9, uh, from the year, this is L1, L2, L6, means this, these are the years, and uh, this is the white data, means uh, this is the first year, this is the current year, this is the data for current year, this is the data for previous year, L-1, okay. This is the data for previous to previous year then we have previous to previous to previous year and so on we have the data for last seven years okay and it is it is toward this side it should have been downward side why it should have been downward side because in stata or in any software any analysis software if you adopt any any software for example if you are adopting stata database for analyzing for the analysis of your data they always want your data to be in the long form and not in the wide form okay means your all of your companies with years should be towards this side okay it should be in the in the column side and here this side there should be the various variables only only variables should be there not not with years all the years should be this side but in my data you can see here all these years means for the year uh, the, here we have this L L means year 2017 okay 2017 all the variables of 2017 are this side and after this all the years of 2016 are before this and before this we have 2015 all variables for 2015, 14, 13, 12, and 11. So, okay, and all so all these years year wise should have been this side. Okay, then only you can analyze your data with any software, whether you take SPSS, you take Stata, or you you take eViews or any data you take. They always want your data to be in long form, not in wide form. But sometimes. Uh, you while extracting your data like uh, if you are extracting data from progress uh, you will probably get probably get your data in the wide form so we have to convert this wide data into long data first of all and then only you can estimate your data you can analyze your data okay so now how to estimate so I will show you one more file okay and uh, this file will uh, help you to understand more what is a white data here we have here we have the company name this is the company name I have given ID for those companies okay always remember there should be an ID if you are going to transform your data from wide to long first of all you should have to create id for each company so there is an id for each company i have created there are so many companies around 15000 companies are there okay and for all those companies i have made id <coughs> then this is company name they were started in this these years okay this is the wide data it, it is a sales 2011, tax 2011, cost of loan 2011, depreciation 2011, tax, tax provision 2011, liabilities and so on for 2011. Okay, there are there are around 20 variables for 2011. In the same way, after this again for 2012, all the variables are repeating for 2012 again uh, sales, tax, cost of loan, depreciation for 2012. All these 20 for 2012 then sales tax cost of loan and so on for 2013 then to, for 2014 for 
then for 2015 then for 16 and then for 17 so this is a wide form of data and it cannot be analyzed with any of the softwares okay so if you want to analyze your data with stata or eviews or sps or, or with any of the softwares first you have to convert it into the long form okay so in long form you will see that your these years all the sales of 2011 will be in this in in one column okay means sales of 11, 2011 sales of 2012 2013 14 15 16 17 will be written here okay in the same way tax for 2011 will be written here tax for 2012 will be written here 2013 2014 2015 16 17 will be written here in the same way for cost of loan for 2011 will be written here for 2012 will be written here for the same company okay for for the 3d 3d techno tax for 3d techno tax your 2011 will be written here 2012 2013 14 15 16 17 and then for second company ab grains will be for 2011 12 13 14 15 16 this is how we want our data to be okay and after that it will become a panel data okay so now how will you convert it so for converting it if you want to convert it what you have to do is you first of all copy the whole data okay click here and after that after this con uh, press control c and now go to stata we have stata here and in stata go to data editor click on data editor and here paste your data now you will click here treat first row as variable name now i am talking about 15000 companies so that is why it will take a little bit time okay now you can see here id is here company name is here it was started here and uh, sales 2011 11 11 11 depreciation and so on for 2011 in the same way for 2012 13 14 15 16 17 so this uh, wide form of data has now pasted here but it is of no use because it cannot be expected uh, sorry it cannot be analyzed you cannot uh, take out uh, uh, your relevant information from this data okay now if you want to convert it into a panel form in in the long form you want to convert it then what you have to do is uh, one thing before converting the data i want to tell you that uh, what i have done here is uh, already i have written here sales 2011 and no gap is there in between those in, in between the name of the variable means sales 2011 without any gap the same way tax 2011 cost of loan 2011 and so on in the same way with all those uh, variable for 2012 i have written 2012 okay for 2013 all the variables are written with 2013 and so on without any gap and one more thing is the id these two things you have to do in excel before uh, taking your data to the to the stata okay now you have uh, uh, this now how to convert it to convert it well, where i will go is i will go to the data and in data i will go to create or change data in create or change data i will write go to other variable transformation commands and in uh, in this option i will go to convert data between wide and long okay so i will click here now here long format from wide i am convert i want to convert it into long format from wide format okay so i will uh, i will click here and then my id it will ask for my id so my id is here already mentioned i will click here id okay this id now now next is variable variable will be the one which is not present in your data you can you you want to convert your wide form into long form in in and you can you want to transform it into years means uh, year wise you want the data in year wise means you want the data for if first of all you want for 2011 then uh, uh, 2012 13 14 15 16 17 then for second company 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 and for 
third company 11 12 13 14 15 17 and so on so in this way you want a new variable that is year okay so you write here year you write here year and after that now you write here base names of variables now you will write the name of variables the variables name you have to write now will be here first variable will be the sales so i had told you that there are 20 variables so those 20 variables are first we have sales then we have tax we have cost of loan depreciation so i will write all those variables here again okay so first we have sales then we have with the space you write the next variable that is tax then cost of loan no without any gap cost of loan then space depreciation then tax provisions then liabilities then assets then current liability I, I have written it it is current liability but I have taken the name as current liab then current asset you have to uh, write the name of all those variables without the years now okay uh, here you can see sales 2011 tax 2011 cost of loan 2011 are there now you have to write all those names without those years okay sales tax cost of loan and so on that is what i am writing here okay then cost of asset then inventory then receivable then payable then fixed asset then intangible asset then profit after tax just remember the spellings okay those spellings which you had given here with those years the spellings here must be the same okay then short loan then long loan then cash flow of rating then cash flow investment then cash flow financing okay so these are the 20 variables which i am having and now i will click here okay i have to wait here for some time and now here you can see that my data has been converted okay you can see here 3d 3D Techno Pack, 3D Techno Pack, 3D Techno Pack, and so on for 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then second company, AKC Developers, AKC Developer, AKC, 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 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Then Analytic Thermosets for 7 years. Again, same 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, this is the ID. This was the starting year because, because the company is same for these 7 years. So it was started in 1986. Okay. Second company was started in 2006, so it will remain as it is. Then third company 1997, then uh, fourth company. Okay, so this is how I wanted this data, and now this is a panel data, and now it can be extracted. Now, uh, sorry, now it can be analyzed, and you can get the results which you want. Now, uh, there is one thing, one uh, problem has occurred here, that is here something 
uh, <coughs> some mistake took place okay what is the mistake uh, these have not yet converted means uh, it is remaining as it is why it has remained as it is it has remained as it is because uh, I have by mistake written cash flow the spelling of cash flow was written wrong okay so don't worry uh, I will again go to the same create or change data and I will write here other transform command convert data and all these things are already written here the problem is with cash flow so I will see here where we have the cash flow here we have the cash flow cash flow is for what cash flow cash flow is for uh, cash flow operating the problem is, is with cash flow operating so a mistake has happened here with cash flow spelling cash c a s h f l o w cash flow operating c a s h f l yeah. here you can see c a s h f o w i have written so f l okay so i had told you that uh, uh, there should not be any spelling mistakes okay so there was a spelling mistake and now this uh, it has been corrected c s h f l o w o p r a t i n g okay now okay now Wait for a second. Cash flow 2011. So now uh, we will click here. Okay now, and uh, now it is again in process. And uh, yes, now you can see now your data has been converted from white form to long form here you can see sales tax cost of loan depreciation tax provision liabilities assets current asset so means all your 20 variables you were having 20 variables all those 20 variables are here this side but your ears are this side for uh, i had told you that all the sales for 3d techno pack will be like this for 11, 2011, 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Then for second company, sales are 11 for 2011, 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And for third company, and so on. In the same way, the taxes are for year 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. For first company, for second company, for third company, and so on. So this is how now your data is panel data, and this is the way by which the software will analyze your, your panel data. So I hope you like my video, please uh, like it, subscribe my YouTube channel and thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Thank you so much.